Hi guys, welcome to my channel, uh, All Par Golf, uh, Paul here. Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go check that out. It's all underscore par underscore golf, all par golf. Uh, it's my first video on YouTube, so please subscribe. There'll be more where this came from. Um, today we're going to be unboxing the Nike, uh, not, sorry, Nike Luna Control Vapor, uh, the brand new Nike golf shoe. Um, I'm a big fan of Nike. I wear a lot of their clothing. Um, I did use some of their equipment, balls, gloves, uh, five wood, um, but unfortunately they're not going to be making equipment. But they're still going to be making good stuff like this, the shoes and the clothing. Um, so these came out on Friday uh, in the UK. I'm not sure about USA. Um, the pros, the guys on tour have been wearing these for a while now, um, but these have finally been released. I've been waiting uh, patiently for these. So what I'm going to do is open these up, have a look, um, and then I'm also going to compare to the Nike Luna Control 4s. Uh, I've got a pair that I hadn't actually worn yet, uh, so we can check out the differences between this year and last year. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's open this up. Literally just just come in the post, so I'm actually really excited to see these. Okay, let's just chuck that down there. Okay, so here we go. Um, here they are, Night Luna Control Vapor. Uh, in a 10.5 US, uh, 9.5 UK. I've gone for the black uh, colorway. So they're calling it black, metallic silver, uh, and white. Uh, I think these look really smart. I've got the Nike Luna Control 4 in white and uh, gray and blue. These are last year's, which I will uh, compare in a minute. So here we go. Got the uh, warranty information there. Um, there's a two year waterproof warranty, which uh, anyone who lives in the UK will know that that will come in very handy. It's very needed. Let's have a look. Wow, these look, these look really nice. Really nice. So let's just get them out of the box. Move that out of the way. Okay, so um, these look very nice, uh, really nice colorway on this. Uh, so the main difference this year is the bottom of the shoe, uh, which Nike are calling a Nike Articulated Integrated Traction uh, for multi-surface grip. Now when I saw these, I thought it would be like, you know, solid plastic, but there seems to be some nice uh, bend in it. That was my only worry. Um, I'd say they, they look slightly more trainer-like than uh, the Lunar Control 4s from last year. Uh, these sort of reminded me of uh, like football boot style that was uh, quite common in football. Um, but these ones seem to look a bit more, bit more chunky. Um, but yeah, really nice. So there's a uh, multi-surface on top. You've got the um, leather like uh, material here which doesn't seem as leather like as last year Nike call this the Nike skin uh, and around here you've got the breathability um, around there which will be nice on the course uh, so what are Nike saying so Nike flywire technology for a lockdown secure fit here um, I think it was on the light Nike Luna Control 3's that the uh, these, these uh, firewires flywire sorry flywire on the outside uh, last year they sort of took them inside so you can only see a little bit there uh, but this year they brought them back out so that looks really nice um, Luna Lon midsole for lightweight cushioning um, these are I mean you can really feel that uh, if you if you feel that out on the course you know you don't want to be feeling that the, this the bottom of this so the uh, Luna Lon uh, technology is really nice um, so you've got the night skin, synthetic le leather uh, for support. Uh, mesh inner sleeve provides breathability. Um, I know from last year's, I mean, 
really comfortable out on the course. I mean, I can wear these, you know, no problem whatsoever. I'd be really interested to get these out on the course and see what they're like. Let's pull out the inside. Okay, so you've got the, I don't know if you can see in there. Got Just Do It inside, which was actually on the bottom last time. The back here you've got Lunar Control in silver and Lunar Lawn on the bottom of the sole. Uh, got the swoosh to the inner back here. The Flywire technology here. Uh, quite like these laces actually, like a polka dot sort of lace. Um, actually saw Rory McIlroy wearing these yesterday at the uh, WGC Mexico. Uh, look really smart. Got the swoosh here which I really like. I mean, this actually divides opinion. A lot of people say they don't like the swoosh here. They prefer it traditionally, you know, where, where it would be on a trainer up here. But I actually really like it. I think it looks really nice. Um, it looks slightly smaller, maybe, than last year. Maybe not. Maybe it's an illusion. Um, but yeah, let's actually put these side by side so we can compare to last year's. If you've got last year's and you like last year's. Uh, so they brought back the split tongue, which I is one of my favourite bits of technology. Really simple, but my god, it really helps out on the course. Uh, there's nothing more annoying than the tongue sort of slipping out to the side. Um, so I really like that. They brought that back here. Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a nice shoe. I can't wait to get these out on the course. Um, these look like they're going to be have some serious grip here. I don't know if you can see from the side. I mean, they're quite, I mean, it's quite, they're quite big compared to last year. I imagine that they have some great grip. Let's just have a look at the bottoms of these. Yeah, nice. Really nice. Can't wait to get these out on the course. Let's just uh, go around one more time. Hoping this isn't too dark, and you can you can see these. Yep, really nice shoe. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more unboxings, uh, reviews, clothing, equipment, tips, uh, some blogs out on the course. Um, so it'd be great if you sub subscribe. Uh, I think it's bottom right hand corner. I'm new to this. So thanks for watching guys, all part of golf, um, have a great day, thank you.